Vanessa here. I have my dog with me. My, my fake pillow <coughs> dog. <laughs> but today I'm going to be doing a video of school hacks. The first thing is concentration, and I know when you go back to school, the teacher's talking, and you're like, I wish I can be home. So the first concentration tip I have for you guys is um, peppermint. So this is peppermint gum, and I have peppermint lifesavers, and it's actually... It actually helps you focus when you're studying. Next thing is tea. So if you don't like the flavor of peppermint, then you can use tea. Let me show you. And it doesn't just have to be peppermint tea. Like I said, if you don't like the flavor, you can mix it with a different one. So like this one is cocoa and mint it tastes like the chocolate ice cream and then there's this one and this one is green tea and mint um they're both really good and you can also have your personal cup i really love this cup it's it's really it's really cute and it has a little cat right here if you can see it if you don't like the taste of peppermint or mint, you can use a diffuser. Now, I have a diffuser. I already put water in it. They usually have a max or a limit line, so I put it up to the max line. And then you're going to take your peppermint oil, and I'm going to take it out. You're going to put a few drops in, and your whole house is going to smell like peppermint. It smells so good already. So on with the next one. Well, I have another hack for you people out there. Um, this one you guys are really going to like. So when you come home and you're done with your homework, you should take about a 10 to 15 minute nap. When you go back to school, you will remember. So I just studied and I need to take a nap. So, good night. Give me the blankie. Thank you. Good night. So, the next hack is for computers. Now, in school, you are using computer keyboards that other people are using and they sneeze on the computer, they pee and poop without washing their hands, and they touch the computer, and they pick their nose, and they touch the computer keyboards. Now, this is very nasty. Okay, if you do this, you are nasty. Okay? Anyways, so here's a hack for, here's, three hacks for cleaning your computer. Now the first one is um, these wipes. They're super cheap. You can get them at the dollar store. They just like kind of like a baby wipe, I guess. So But these are special for your screens. Oops, I took Um when you're cleaning your keyboard, the towels and the wipes th can't really get into the crevices if you see them right there all along so what you want to use is slime and do not use sticky slime whatever you do because it will get into your computer so you want to try to use putty or hard slime or piece like this big and you're going to go in the crevices and just pick it up with this line so here you go so now what you're going to do is sometimes with um let me put this back 
with your computer, you still can't get into the little tiny tiny into these really small ones literally inside the computer. Now, you can't really do that with slime because I assume it'll get stuck and I, I'm not in the mood to try that. But here's a really cool way to get it out. Sticky notes. I know, when I heard this, I was like, what? Sticky notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your sticky note in the sticky part right here. And you're going to put it in the in the cracks and you're just gonna pick the dirt up from inside now you can see hairs I don't know if you guys can pick that up there's a tiny hair right there already from one keyboard so this isn't the whole keyboard isn't that disgusting Go. and I'm sorry it's nasty, okay, just thinking about it. I, I just can't. Anywho, that is the end of the computer hacks. So we have the wipes, the sticky note, and the slime. The next hack is organization. Now, most of us, some of us, have planners and that keep you organized and you can write down whatever you're doing each day and it has your date in your day what day it is and then you can write down what you're doing so for example here on washi tape I have pool party and here's my doctor's appointment at 2 p.m. now sometimes we have doctor's appointments and we have to reschedule the doctor's appointments. Sometimes it's a pool party and it's raining outside and we have to reschedule it. Now washi tape, um, washi tape comes right off of pain. Now, for example, I have to reschedule my doctor's appointment to, from, at 2 p.m. to Friday. So, just like this, it comes off like that and put it on here instead of crossing it off and being messy and so guys if you guys ever had a paper rip out of your binder uh -oh. I have a solution for that now let's put this aside here we go now if your paper ripped out and it's it's probably an important paper I got you I got you covered um, what you're going to use is tape I know it sounds crazy but you're gonna take tape and you're going to place it along you're gonna place it along the just like that and you're going to keep going on the bottom now you can do the same thing and flip it over on the other side yeah and there this is good as new and you can just stick it right back in and you don't have to worry about redoing it good as new Guess what these are for? These are tea bags for your tennis shoes. The other day, my friend came over and she came from camp. She took her shoes off and I almost passed out. So the solution to stinky tennis shoes is one of two to three things. So the way this happens this is the way the hack works. So first you're going to sprinkle baking soda in, right here. And now you're gonna take a dryer sheet and you're going to stick it in all the way at the top. And now you're gonna take a tea bag and you're going to just place it right here. And I've tried this, and it smells so good. So 
So I hope it works for you guys too. Works pretty.